Welcome back everybody, Kylo Ren, leader of the Knights of Ren, looking very knight-like here, kneeling down with his crossguard and his helmet placed before him as a menacing Snoke looks on and two elite Praetorian guards stand to each side of a Darth Vader wannabe. It's the iconography here that is really interesting. In The Force Awakens we were briefly introduced to the Knights of Ren, but in The Last Jedi they're nowhere to be seen, they've opted to focus on Snoke's guards for some reason. So this image of Kylo kneeling down and looking very much the part of a knight is obviously supposed to convey something to us. Is he the last knight of Ren? And who was the one that anointed him into the order in the first place? Usually that would be the role of a king or another knight perhaps, maybe a religious figure of some type. So since Kylo Ren is serving Snoke, is Snoke any one of these three things? Well, he doesn't look like a king, unless it's a king of some type of underground criminal organization, a king of a chain of casinos on Canto Bight perhaps, but certainly not a king in your classical sense. Is he a knight, or was he a knight, of the order himself? Maybe? It's possible, but I'd lean towards a no there as well. Staring at this picture here, and seeing that Snoke is all pimped out in gold, the third option not only seems the most likely of the three, but might even be a plausible one. Is Snoke a religious figure? Yep, that's right, is Snoke the Star Wars equivalent of the Pope? Now if this sounds ridiculous to you, bear with me for a while, hopefully I can make a convincing case to you, to at least consider it. Snoke is extremely wealthy, and so is the Vatican, whose net worth is estimated to be around 10 to 15 billion dollars. The Force is basically like a religion in the Star Wars universe, and Snoke is no Sith. He could be the head of a religion that predates the Jedi and the Sith, or at least he could follow earlier teachings that would also fit in with Luke's new take on things. How about rocking those golden robes along with sitting on a throne? Check that one off the list as well. Snoke's elite Praetorian guards. Well, guess who also has guards? Yep, that's right, the Pope has the Pontifical Swiss Guard, which was founded by Pope Julius II way back in the year 1506. So there are definitely comparisons that can be made here. Remember those memes of former Pope Benedict? You have to wonder if that could have rubbed off on the story group when they were throwing around ideas for the new trilogy. Not to mention that Star Wars is also based around the idea of a messiah-like hero prophesized to bring balance to the Force. We recently learned that Luke believed his nephew, Ben Solo, was the chosen one. Something Snoke probably believed himself, that being the reason for him showing such an interest in him when he was younger, and eventually being able to turn him. The Pope and the Church are all about the Chosen One, and Snoke may very well be a fictional take on a real world figure and organization. Once again, Snoke is very well connected throughout the galaxy, he's managed to pick up the remnants of Palpatine's fallen empire and lead them towards a new goal, so whatever he's preaching, the First Order is fully on board with the program. You might even say they follow him with a religious fervor. So returning back to this picture here, it's the knighthood iconography that really set me towards contemplating this idea. Why would there be an order of knights serving Snoke and the First Order? Since they can't use the title of Pope Snoke, Snoke could be the supreme leader of a religion, and Kylo Ren and the First Order are out to fight his holy war, with a side dish of profit of course. So I hope that gave you some food for thought, and another possible take on Snoke, the Knights of Ren, and the direction of the sequel trilogy, all speculation on my part of course. Speaking of speculation, just like some of my previous videos, some more proof that Rey will indeed make it to Snoke's throne room in The Last Jedi. Here we have Rey and a Praetorian guard packaged together, so obviously, where's the most likely place Rey is going to encounter this guy? On Snoke's ship of course, and tell him by her clothing, which is her new Jedi robes, it's probably after she's already left Ark 2. So the final sequence of the film is most certainly on Snoke's ship, unless the big twist reveal in the movie is, the guard is Rey's dad. How awkward would that be, right? So there you have it peoples, what are your thoughts on the topic? Why do we have knights in a sci-fi movie? Why is Kylo Ren portraying the typical image of a knight here? Who anointed him into the order? And is Snoke perhaps a religious figure of some type? Leave your thoughts down below. So you don't miss anything with the channel, hit that notification bell. A big thank you from me for stopping by and the continued support. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all that good stuff. And until next time, see yous.